What's up you guys welcome back to a brand new video today we have a special video on the channel not necessarily horror related but movie related for sure and i got a guest with me today y'all know him big part of the channel he's on all the live streams come on down come on down the horror gang lane we got we got hunter here with us guys hello everybody and i'm just gonna be holding the mic like this for the video so uh yeah so if you guys didn't know, Hunter is pretty much like the biggest Quentin Tarantino fan that I know, and this video is basically for uh, Quentin Tarantino's birthday. Happy birthday to the GOAT. Um, we're recording this on his birthday. For some reason, I actually thought it was March 29th and not the 27th. But anyways, happy birthday, Quentin Tarantino, uh, filmmaker legend. The GOAT. The GOAT. No, I'm just playing. I don't, don't take that light or serious. He's my favorite, personal favorite. I mean, yeah, he's he's top five for me, for sure. And before we hop into this video, if you love anything, movies or horror or whatever, uh, hit that subscribe button, leave me a like down below, and let us know what you think about our picks. And uh, just as y'all know, as a heads up, we're going to be counting Kill Bill 1 and 2 as one movie. The whole bloody affair, not two movies, because that's how Tarantino originally wanted it to be. So, uh, yeah. Hit that subscribe button. Hopefully you all enjoy, and let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So coming in at the number nine spot, for me personally, nothing against this movie, nothing against any of these movies, but The Hateful Eight, um, you know, uh, the eighth film by Quentin Tarantino. And it's not like this movie isn't bad or anything. I feel like it's, at some points, really long, especially when you... Uh, watch the extra episodes or whatever that he you know like the other footage that was too long for the movie um a lot of people i feel like put death proof at the number nine spot and i feel like that's uh understandable but i don't want to i want to be different because i love death proof i think it's really good so yeah hateful eight at the number nine spot for me personally and then for honor thank, thank you jackson uh, for me, personally, I know Jackson didn't want to, but I'm going to, no, again, no hate to or disrespect to the film, uh, is Grindhouse's uh, Death Proof. Uh, him and Robert Rodriguez made Grindhouse, um, uh, I think, after Kill Bill. And it it's one of those, it just, as a, it, uh, we're big horror fans, obviously, and this is Quentin Tarantino's horror, or, you know, horror film. Um, it's, again, so great, you know, it's his style of filmmaking, uh, I just don't think compared to the other films, it's on the level of some of the other films. That makes sense, because uh, they. I think this movie is like an hour and a half, or maybe if that, uh, maybe a little bit over. I think the whole thing is maybe three hours. Yeah, it's so it it is what it is. A, a great movie, uh, but you know Quentin's catalog is so massive and so deep, yeah. uh, and. It, they're, some of these movies are like you know perfection to me so uh yeah i just had to put this at number nine even though it was really hard to choose but yep all right so now coming in at the number eight spot uh, i'm sure y'all saw this coming anyway but just so it wasn't in last place uh death proof uh from you know grindhouse is pretty much from what hunter said uh a uh, really good movie. Uh, I love uh, Kurt Russell in it. He's very menacing. It's super suspenseful. Uh, probably one of the best car chase scenes in movie history, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I mean, what else does there say about Death Proof? Uh, Hunter pretty much hit it on the head. It's uh, Quentin Tarantino's uh, take on horror, although we were talking the other day. We were like, I wish he would do like a straight-up horror movie. But you, you yeah. mentioned it would be like, too stylistic. Yeah, but, I mean, who cares? I'd be up for it. Why not? But, uh, yeah, Death Proof at number eight for me. Thank you again, Jackson. Um, for me, number eight, uh, we kind of just did a switcheroo. I had The Hateful Eight. Hateful uh, Eight, right? Yeah, his eighth film. Yeah. Wow, you know, I, I, it wasn't even planned. Um, yeah, I mean, Quentin's known for, you know, using... Uh, the same actors in his movies. You, know, you got like in this movie, you got Samuel Jackson, uh, Bruce Dern, Michael Madsen, Tim Roth. Uh, you get uh, Channing Tatum's in it. Yeah, <laughs> so it, the it's villain. yeah, it's, Magic Mike is the villain. I remember the first time I saw this, I really loved it. I think this might have been one of the first 
Tarantino films I saw, actually. I didn't know at the time. But, uh, yeah, and I just thought it was really awesome. Uh, and this was, like, I wasn't really... It's very a dialogue-driven movie, right? So it is three hours or three and a half hours, whatever, how long it is. But if you watch... Like, I know Netflix did a cool thing where they broke it up into uh, episodes. If you watch it like that, it's 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 easier to, yeah, it's easier to, watch. to take in. But... Um, I think you sit through the movie. It's really good. If you appreciate film, uh, it, it the mystery or not mystery, you know, you got these criminals at a bar and you know, it's such a good movie. It's Quentin's, uh, not Western, but like, you know, he has, uh, Mar the guy who did the composer, uh, Nino, uh, Marconi, or I hope I'm saying his name right. Uh, who did good, the bad, the ugly, uh, soundtrack or score. So, um, beautifully shot, uh, I mean, the visually, visually alone, uh, I would check this out. But and I hate to give it so low because I really do like this one. But uh, compared to the other ones, I just have to go with it. At eight. Guys, coming in at number seven is the uh, Kill Bill whole bloody affair. I mean, these movies are absolutely crazy. Um, you know, it. This was his. He. Tarantino was a huge like kung fu fan. Like he watched a bunch of uh, Asian flicks back in the day. Uh, when you hear him talk about it, uh, this was like his love letter to those kinds of films. Um, and if you look at it as both movies, um, for me personally, I like a couple. I I think Jackie Brown is better than both of those. But uh, I do. I will say at first. I'll talk about it when we get to Jackie Brown. But anyways. Uh, Kill Bill's really cool, um, you know, some really iconic scenes uh, from Tarantino. Um, yeah, I just think I have more to say about these other films coming up here shortly for me personally. So Kill Bill, The Whole Bloody Affair at number seven. Thank you again, Jackson. Uh, this one might be an unpop, a hot pot, or what's it called? Hot take. A hot take. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I love this movie, and for a long time it was it was high up there in my list. But ever since I started watching these other ones more, it just kept going down. Uh, and you know, Brad Pitt's one of my favorite actors. Uh, and at number seven, we got Inglorious Bastards. Uh, Christoph Waltz, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, Quentin said he wasn't gonna make the film unless he found. Uh, Hans Landa and uh, Christoph Waltz uh, came in and just took it away. You got people like Eli Roth in it. Uh, it's, it's star. It, it's amazing, amazing cast. Um, Bj Novak, Bj Novak, uh, Michael, Mike Myers, Michael yeah. Fassbender. It World War Two film. It's mm. his fantasy take on you know changing changing history. I'm not gonna spoil it, but uh, Hitler's in it. Uh, it's such a it's such a fun film. I, I think it, it has a rewatchability to it, but compared to these other ones, I don't I'm not hundred percent sure if I would you know throw on Inglorious Bastards over these ones I got up here. But again, then again, I love this uh, movie. I really do. Uh, I really have a hard time. It's like picking your favorite children with these movies. So yeah, I got unfortunately put Inglorious Bastards at seven. And again, I I'm, this is my list, so like I'm not saying yeah. it is the, the the definitive best um this is my personal opinion yeah yeah all right you guys we are already at the number six spot and for me is jackie brown by the way hunter let me just say thank you for bringing all the physical the physical media of these movies over to the, the horror gang headquarters for this video um uh, I gotta be honest, when I first watched Jackie Brown, it didn't really strike me as anything over the top or like, you know, really good. It just kind of felt eh at first. But after I thought about it and then, you know, rewatched it again, it really grew on me. And I gotta say, I think it's a pretty awesome film. Um, a great cast, by the way. Um, Yeah. Yeah. Pam Greer, Robert De Niro, Samuel Jackson, Michael Keaton. You know, Batman's in there. But um 
great cast. Uh, Jackie Brown is a really cool story. At first, I'm not like I said, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really dig it that much. Um, I found it to be kind of boring actually the first time I watched it. But like I said, the more I thought about it and gave it a second watch, and yeah, it really it moved up on my list. So yeah. Thank you again, Jackson. Uh, for me, I'm gonna go with this number six, correct? Yeah. Yes, number six. Sorry. Uh, Kill Bill: The Whole Bloody Affair. This was actually, believe it or not, the first Tarantino movies I watched was both of these, um, and it just made me fall in love with his filmmaking. Uh, you know, Uma Thurman, uh, David Carradine, Michael Madsen, the whole you know uh, these assassins and the, uh, it's a revenge flick. Yeah. Quentin's kung fu uh, take on his film. Uh, Sony Chiba's in it, who Quentin loved. Uh, he's one of the probably the biggest kung fu uh, actor ever. Uh, it, the stunts in this are insane. Um, it it's so awesome. Uma Thurman was so great in it, so badass. The yeah. the karate, the choreo- uh, choreography, the stunt work, the effects. Uh, it is so such a good movie. Uh, if you have a chance. You can watch these separately, of course, uh, but this is, I got this, like, bootleg copy. It's the whole bloody affair, so uh, it's the whole four hour and a half, whatever long it is. Uh, I don't, it's, it has, like, different scenes and stuff, but I love this movie. Uh, I don't know if you, any of you guys in English class learned about the whole Superman uh, analogy uh, Bill uses in the second one, oh, but yeah. the five finger, there's so many iconic things, five finger death punch, yeah. the black mamba, I think, when you think, when I think about this movie, Quentin's, like, this is one of the first movies that come to my mind with Quentin, uh, it just sold his style, uh, if you, like, you don't mean, if you see shirts of his movies, it's like Pulp Fiction and then Kill Bill, yeah. so, yeah, iconic movie. Thank you.